Hey, what's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a review for some card seat covers that someone sent me. And on that video, I mentioned that if you want to send me some car stuff, you know, some car supplies, stuff to install in cars, uh, send it to me that I'll do a review so I could pick my friend's ride. And um, I don't own a car, so I was, I've was i been using my friend's car to do, you know, all these little reviews. And sure enough, they, they've been, they started sending me stuff. So now we're going to do a car review. Well, it's not a car review. It's a, it's a product for a car um, a review. So they sent me this little gadget right here, and it's called the Carista. And it's basically, let me see if I can get the camera to focus on it. There it is. Basically, this plugs in to your um, computer in your car, right? Um, I noticed that this car has um, the engine light on, and I wanted to find out what the, what the problem was with the engine light. Now, I think I know what the problem is. The actual problem is the fuel um, door, the little, the, you know, when you close it and you, and you hear the clack, 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 that, that part right there, it has a problem. It has like a little fault. So if you don't do it, right away that I mean when you if you don't do it correctly the first time um, the engine light will come on I mean there's nothing wrong with the car the car works perfectly but that little thing makes the engine light come on and today we're gonna try to use this to remove the engine light now um, the sound is not gonna be very well because I'm gonna have it's very hot in New York today so I'm gonna have the AC on once I start showing you the, the other part of the video um, so uh, hopefully the sound is okay but I think you're gonna hear the air conditioner you know as I you know basically um, film the video so uh, let's start the review okay so hopefully the sound won't sound too bad um, let me just show you guys so there is the engine light right there um, so this is a basically this is a, a, a Chrysler Pacifica 2005 now um, this little gadget should work on any car that has a computer port um, the ODB port in your car um, which is usually under the drive I'm sorry under the, uh, the driver's seat in the front so if you go in the car right here let's see if I can get in there there it is you see that that's the port where you plug this in um, so what we're gonna do it is we're just gonna plug it in and it goes right here like this and I can't I don't know I can't tell with the camera but there is, should be a light turning on somewhere in there now the next step uh, you take your phone and you download the app and the, the name of the app is called uh, Carista or Carissa Carista yeah so we're gonna look okay so the first thing you got to do is you got to go into the settings you click on there and in my case I already connected it once so anytime I plug it into the car it automatically connects so you don't have to go through the whole connection process it connects automatically because it's also be able to track the location of your car it has a whole bunch of little features that you could use so as you can see it says it's connected the Clarissa Clarissa Cl Carissa Carista okay so once it connects um, you go into the app and you click diagnose. I mean, I find that this app is a little buggy. Maybe it's a little buggy in the, on the iPhone, but um, perhaps it works better on the Android. Um, let's see if it wants to connect this time. I find that it has um, issues. Maybe it's issue with, with me. So here it is. It's now it's actually reading. So now it tells you, you know, it's reading the faults. Make sure the engine, the ignition is on. And um, you should see the normal normal lights so the engine doesn't have to be on but the ignition has to be on so right now the ignition is on oops there it is it's on as you know doing all the lights in the dashboard are on and there it is there's my dreadful engine light is on and then what it says is here um, you know the code P0456 um, it's an evaporated emission system, small leakage, but they took the car to the mechanic and he says there is no leakage. So it's definitely the, you know, the, um, the fuel door, you know, you know, part to close the fuel gauge. And what we're going to do is we're going to just hit reset. So we're going to see if this works. And it basically says make sure the ignition is on and the engine is now running. Okay. Hit OK. Engine light is still on. Away. And 
voila there it is it's gone so it works so if you guys are looking you know for a little little gadget like that to you know just get rid of the engine light now i do not recommend this if you don't really know what's wrong with the car because the worst thing that you could do is you could get this app and you see your code and you don't know what the code means and you just go ahead and erase it and then a week later your car breaks down in the middle of the road because you didn't go fix whatever the problem was i mean not all the codes are the same in my case i knew what the problem with the car was already because it just keeps coming back that little code keep coming back the the p0456 which is supposed to be like an, a, a small leakage and it's not in this particular car but if in your car you have the engine light on don't go and get this little you know gadget plug it in look at it and then just because you don't want to see it on the dashboard turn it off that's wrong because if you do that and there's a real problem with your car then you're screwed so guys thanks for watching i hope this uh, little review was useful um and i'm gonna leave the link below for you to guys you know to get this little um the little little gadget the thingamajinga that you can plug it in your car check the codes and that's actually really cool because if you know what the code is and you research it online like you go online and you find out how much the p p parts cost and the pieces cost and you know find out labor you could probably get the pieces then take it to the mechanic and ask the mechanic how much is labor going to cost me if you already know what the parts that you need you know if it needs a, 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 a you know an oil change or something is you know something that you could actually fix or in some cases you could fix it yourself so pretty cool i think it's pretty cool anyways thanks for watching guys you've been watching lg tv i am juan granos find me on instagram los granos on twitter los granos on facebook los granos thanks for watching guys and don't forget to leave a thumbs up peace